Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to this first video in this Laravel 5.3 Basics series. In this video, we're going to be talking to you about installing Composer and the Laravel installer on your machine. Now, before you can run a Laravel app on your machine, there are some system requirements that you will need. So if we visit the Laravel documentation, you will need to have all of these requirements on your machine before you can run a Laravel application. And to do this, you can easily install some dev environments such as Homestead or Valet. And you can go through the documentation. It's pretty easy to set up. You can even set up MAMP or WAMP, basically any local environment that allows you to run all these server requirements. So once we do have that all set up, then we can go through the Laravel installer and installing Composer. So let's go ahead and go to getcomposer.org and let's click on the download button. And you can see that we have a series of commands that we can simply copy and then paste these into a command window. And after that has been done, then we need to go back to Get Composer, and we can click on this Getting Started and scroll down to where we see Globally. Because we want to install Composer globally on our machine, so that way no matter what directory we're in, we can just run the Composer command and it will know what we're talking about. So let's go ahead and run that last command. Now if I clear this out and I just run Composer, you can see that we now have a whole bunch of commands that we can use thanks to Composer. And one of those commands is going to be the Laravel installer. So if I go to the Laravel documentation and I scroll down the installation section, we'll see where it says installing Laravel, and we have that we can install Laravel via Composer. So we can simply copy and paste this command in to install the Laravel installer. And after that has been completed, we now have a new command that we can use just called Laravel new and then we can create the name of our project. We can basically add the name of a folder that we want to install Laravel in. So I'm just going to call this folder application. So I want to create a new Laravel inside of an application folder. So now if I cd into this application folder, I can then run this command called php artisan serve. And it will serve up a localhost at localhost 8000. So if I visit localhost 8000, then sure enough, we have a blank Laravel install in front of us. And it's just that easy in a matter of seconds. We can have a new Laravel app in front of us just by running Laravel new and the project name. So one thing I do want to mention before closing out this video is if you run the Laravel command and it's kind of spitting back to you saying, hey, we don't recognize this command, you will need to add your Laravel composer bin directory path to your machine. So I will post a link below the video that will show you how to install the Laravel Composer bin directory path on your machine so that we can recognize the Laravel command. So just like that, we set up the Laravel installer and Composer on our machine. And in the next video, we're going to go over the code structure or the file structure of your new Laravel app. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this Laravel Basics video. Uh, Laravel is a really cool framework that allows us to build these really cool applications. And one of those applications that I have built is the Dev Dojo. So if you check out devdojo.com, it's a learning resource for all things web development, including Laravel. I've just added a new section which includes ebooks that you can download, and uh, it's just a whole bunch of resources for you to get better at web development. So thanks again for checking out this video, and I hope you go over to the devdojo.com and check it out.